Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I pulled over on Instagram to see what video you would want next, and you all voted for a favorite cleaning products video, so that's exactly what I'm gonna go ahead and show you. If you've watched some of my other videos, I have covered this, but there are some new ones, as well as I'm going to go over the ones that are a definite no, don't waste your money and make life a lot easier on you because I do have to go and grab a few more of my cleaners. So I'm gonna bring the camera along with me to Walmart and possibly Target and show you guys kind of a buy this, not that as well. There will be a lot of chemicals discussed in this video. So for my more natural people who do not do a whole lot of the extra chemicals and do not believe in them, right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you, these two right here are magical products to keep in your house for cleaning and it's just normal baking soda and white vinegar. You can buy the cleaning vinegar. It is a little different, a little more potent. You can do either one to be completely honest, but if you wanna keep things more on the natural side, these two are where you go. To take the white vinegar and the baking soda one step further, Dawn, Blue Dawn. This is obviously the platinum. The normal Blue Dawn is just as good, trust me on that. This I keep in my house for all over my house, not just my dishes. Amazing stuff. And so is this. This is another product I do not go without. I do not let it run down. This is the Dawn Power Wash. I already have the refill bottle. So yes, they sell it in refills. So you don't have to constantly buy the pump. You can just buy the refill. But absolutely, I keep this on hand. And while I'm still on the topic of natural cleaners, I'm just gonna cover this one now, but this is for anyone, natural cleaners, or whether you're willing to use every chemical in your house, and that is this sucker right here, the Steam Shot. I absolutely love it. It lets you get things off everywhere. It'll do your grout. I use it for little tracks on the windows. This stuff can clean your windows. All you do is put water inside of it, and the steam just works such a fantastic and amazing product. I use this too all over my house. The next product is not sold in Walmart or Target, so I can't show it to you when I'm in there, and that is this magic bottle right here. It is called Folex. I have talked about this on my channel for years. Yes, I understand, it says carpet spot remover. It is not only for carpets, it is for everything. I have white bedding, this takes care of it. My kids will get stuff on their clothes. I get stuff on my clothes, I'm clumsy. I, anywhere, anywhere you need it, in the car, I've used this in the car, just fantastic stain remover. I don't just wanna cover cleaners, I wanna cover like all of it, like the different brushes and stuff. Microfiber cloths, absolutely, these things are so wonderful. I buy a big old pack on Amazon, read the reviews, and just go from that. I bought Norwex, I've bought the expensive ones, the cheap ones, I've bought them out of Marshalls and TJ Maxx. A microfiber is basically a microfiber, to be completely honest, so microfibers. These two little brushes right here, they are the OXO, however you pronounce that company. I got these off Amazon years ago. They have clearly been put through the absolute ringer. Let me try and see if I can get it to zoom in on just how messed up that brush head is. Like I need to replace my set, but these are so, so good. And it has like this little wedge tool on one side to help you get in little grooves. And then this one right here, I think is made for tile and this one, but. I use them everywhere for everything, really good product. As well as my latest obsession, this sucker right here. If you saw me doing the testing of the TikTok cleaners and like the cleaning products, I did not want to buy one. This is a $21 cleaning brush. It's worth every penny, it honestly is. It comes with two different heads, it's battery operated. I mean, this sucker's got some power to it. Amazing, like my new obsession. I'm just gonna bring you over here to my cleaning closet because it's just easier way for me to do this. And yeah, it's somewhat organized, but I'm gonna show you the bottles that I absolutely love and then the things that are wasting my money and just sitting in here basically getting dust. For my floors, you guys have seen, I have tile all over my house. I've used the Lysol, the Mr. Clean, Fabuloso, you name it. I love the lemon Lysol, which I don't have. I will show that later on but this is actually my favorite floor cleaner. It is the Blue Ajax. I get this out of the Dollar Tree. I use very, very little, and it goes a long way, and it is just an absolute beautiful cleaner. Method Anti-Back Bathroom Cleaner does a good job. The smell is so overwhelming. All of their anti-backs actually have the purple one down here too. Very, very strong. Method Degreaser, I've got only about this much left. This is actually really good. I use this all around my stove and it cleans it really well. Although I do believe on here it says somewhere you're not supposed to use it. Okay, this is one reason why I stopped using it though because it does say right there, not for use on glass or ceramic stovetops. 
mine's a glass stovetop. So I kind of was wondering why, you know, I couldn't use it there even though it's a degreaser and it's sold for stovetops. So I stopped using it, but this is actually a very good degreaser. This, however, is an even better degreaser. This I did have to buy at Lowe's. I think Home Depot has it as well, but this is the Dawn Professional Heavy Duty Degreaser. Amazing, just trust me on that. If you want a degreasing product, this one right here, so good. Match erasers, yes, they don't have to be Mr. Clean. They all do the same thing. I've tested them all. Don't worry about it. You could do a knockoff brand, but match erasers. A Fresh, this is my favorite washing machine cleaner as well as dishwasher cleaner. Do you need one of these? No, you can use white vinegar in both of those machines and clean it just well. You don't need these, but this is a fantastic brand if you do want an actual, you know, go to the store and buy one. Dusters. I hate dusting my house and then being able to shake the duster and you see all of the particles flying. I can't stand that. I like the Swiffer dusters. The 360 Walmart dusters are just as good. You don't have to pay the extra, but they don't last you quite as long. Like they don't go as far when I'm doing it. I have to replace them a little more often if I'm buying the cheaper brand but I do make sure to get a good duster because I don't wanna shake that thing and have the particles flying. That defeats the whole purpose. Barkeeper's Friend, that's another one that people just look past because it's always sitting on the bottom shelf in almost every single one of my stores. They have the powder and they have the liquid version. These are very good all over your kitchen, in your bathroom. I've got that spot near my shower glass door I've showed you guys a thousand times. I've tried everything. The only thing that works is this one right here. So, I mean, this stuff right here, don't overlook it. It is amazing and very versatile. Glass cleaner. Still to this day, my absolute favorite glass cleaner is the Sprayway glass cleaner. Sprayway makes stainless steel cleaner. This is a full can for a good reason. I don't like this at all. Don't like it. But their glass cleaner is fantastic. Y'all know by now, I'm a sucker for the seasonal scented cleaners. So I always go the Mrs. Myers route. I have a ton of them. I will show you here in a second. I have almost every scent possible, but this you do not have to do. If you are more on the natural side, this does have fragrance in it, which is, you know, one of those things that veer away, veer away. But I've also been loving this. I don't understand why the bottle keeps doing this to me, but this stuff right here, the Everspring from Target, it smells really good. It's not overly potent. It's doing a very good job. A little goes a very long way. The bottle is huge compared to the Mrs. Myers, and this was actually cheaper. So this is another good option for a multi-surface spray. Seriously, don't judge my dirty closet, but like I said, there's Peony, there's Mum. Back there is Snowdrop Mrs. Myers. And then over here, that one is apple cider. This one is fall leaves. Peppermint, what are you? Mint, these are all the different room sprays, like there's Daisy right there that I just used, but yeah, I even have the honeysuckle, so I have a seasonal scent problem. While I'm in this though, favorite bathroom cleaner right there, I absolutely love Kaboom. And then back into my kitchen before I forget, it is the good old Scrub Mommy. Yes, she has seen much better days, but this is one of my absolute favorite sponges. I will show you more when I get into the store, but I love it that it's got the scrubbing side and then the actual real sponge side. So that's why this is my favorite. I took this out to show you guys. I already talked to you about the Dawn. I have to refill my Dawn in there. That's what I use. I do have some of this Mrs. Meyers dish soap. I have, I think, three different smells. These smells are fantastic. The cleaning power is not even close to the Dawn. I have to use almost double this to get the same cleaning power as that. So no, I do not recommend these. I'm giving you guys like a guided tour over my house. By the way, gloves, you can never go wrong with any of the gloves. I have more back here. These are just a little Target brand. This is where I keep all microfibers. But what I want to show you guys was actually this one right here. Windex, the multi-surface antibacterial. This one right here, I like to keep on hand for an antibacterial surface cleaner that can do more. This you can do on the glass. I use it on my countertops, my wood, anywhere. I've used this, I just don't like it on the TV screens. It does leave like streaks on the TV screens, but this right here is a very good antibacterial multi-surface cleaner. I totally forgot I had this stored down here. It's not where it should be, but if you have any marks inside of your toilet bowl that you cannot get off, 
pick up one of these. I got this at Lowe's. It was really cheap. It's just a little tiny like little pumice stone looking thing in there. It's not gonna scratch your toilet if you do it right. And you just wet it a little bit and then scrub whatever stuck on the toilet and it comes right off. I'm pretty sure I showed you all of them that are currently in my house, except obviously I didn't show you my Ocedar mop. You guys already know that thing is phenomenal and I love it, as well as that Clorox wand. But I was hoping I could show you one of those in store so you could see what the packaging looks like. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take you guys with me to Target and Walmart. Jumping around and in, this wet jet stuff, you don't need it. You could fill any floor cleaner you want in that bottle. All of the Swiffer and the Walmart brand of those are fantastic. The Swiffer and the Walmart, look at the price tag. That is a box of six and a box of 11. Do the math for yourself. One foot, three foot, and six foot. That is my Swiffer that I use that everybody asks about, the six foot one. All of these antibacterial wipes are the same thing, including the Walmart brand. I don't like any of these cleaners right here. You can see the pictures of them. I don't like a single one of them. They're not that great. The scents are usually really strong, except the ones down here that are Lysol, I do like those. All of the glass cleaners are okay. The Sprayway is great. Windex obviously is great. There's the antibacterial Windex. These Lysol bottles aren't bad. This is a different brand of my Clorox bathroom wand I show you guys. These right here, the toilet wands. I love the Clorox toilet ones. I've used them forever. I did not know that Scrub Daddy made one and it's the refills. Toilet bowl cleaner is toilet bowl cleaner. Honestly, I have never noticed a difference no matter which one I've used. I don't know if you have. And then all of these different items right here, I haven't really used that many except this bottom shelf down here, like I was saying. And Walmart sells the pink stuff. I do not like any of these cleaners right here. Just walk away, just save yourself the trouble. This is where I get my pretty gloves from for everybody that asks. All of the sponges right here, they have Scrub Daddy, Scrub Mommy. Do not buy theirs, theirs are crap. And then down here, these green sponges I'm about to show you, they will scratch everything. Don't use those, just avoid them and go with the blue ones. They're non-scratch and they are just as good. But they don't last as long as a Scrub Daddy or Mommy. Over here is Magic erasers they are fantastic and the brillo right there that box is what i use on the inside of my ninja foodie dawn power wash regular dawn dawn platinum all of them are here i don't like the gain version of dawn power wash though it's awful and one of my subscribers told me there's lemon and i found it walmart was more than sufficient to show you guys the whole buy this not that thing i will do target on a whole nother day when i go on a different trip and either make it a short or add it into another youtube video i don't know but i had no need to because target or uh, walmart excuse me fully covered everything and I was able to get the last few items that I need to do the rest of spring cleaning in my home. Now, any of the products and stuff that I did mention in this video, that is my personal opinion. If you don't like a bunch of cleaners, if you're more natural or if you have a cleaner that you really, really love and I didn't mention it, let me know down below anything like that so we can all know about it in the community. I will test a few of the other ones like more of the ever spring cleaners from Target. That is all still to come down the road. These were just what I use, what my favorites are, and the ones that I definitely will not be spending any money on in the future. But thank you guys so much for watching this one. I hope you got a few new products to try or several to just stay away from and save your money on. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.